Welcome back to a brand new video, Moon Market Family. This is a warning to all penny stock and OTC investors and really just anybody in the stock market. And it's a really good story that I highly suggest you watching this video to the end. One thing I do want to say before I get into that is ever since I uploaded the Hindenburg video about Mullen, I have had multiple people tell me they are not seeing my videos in the comment section down below and they're just automatically unsubscribed. So double check if you're subscribed and if you're not smash that subscribe button right now. We got bangers on this channel. Turn on the notification bell to get all of these stock picks instantly. And a great way to support this video free of cost and takes about one second is just tap that like button and comment down below. I read every single comment and this tiny OTC stock that was reported. Keep that in mind. It was reported. Watch this whole video and you'll figure out it got acquired by Tesla and the stock ran up 200% in literally minutes just to get dumped right back down in minutes. And it looks like this. This is a pump and dump chart. It's an absolutely wild looking chart. This has to be one of the craziest pump and dumps I've seen in a long time. And I want you to watch this video all the way through because it will show you that even some of the most trusted and reliable stock news companies out there can slip up and post a completely wrong and a completely misleading story or you, one could call it fake news. This is an awful one because the people who bought this, it really was not their fault in a lot of different ways because you're going to find out. You will really find out. Yes, it was very easy to do a little bit of research and debunk this yourself. But this news story involving Tesla was posted on some of the most reliable stock news sources. There's a link in the top pinned comment to join that private discord. We got over 5000 people in there. Like minded penny stock traders were going crazy. We have three separate alert rooms, a live scanner every single day posted in there where you literally an 11 hour stream where you can find some runners and scalps in the market to make a quick buck. We got education rooms, live streams almost every day. Yesterday, we had a 30% run on ticker MEIP. So what happened in this situation? Shares of Lithium Corp whipsawed today after an inauthentic press release circulated claiming the electric vehicle giant Tesla has acquired the Nevada based miner to understand how this massive pump and dump even came to life. It starts with Elon Musk sending out a tweet five days ago on April 8 stating price of lithium has gone to insane levels. Tesla might actually have to get into the mining and refining directly at scale unless costs improve. There is no shortage of the element itself as lithium is almost everywhere on Earth but pace of extraction and refinement is slow. Somebody replied saying it would be possible to concert the entire US vehicle fleet to electric using only lithium in Nevada. That's just the single state. And he said, true, we have some cool ideas for sustainable lithium extraction and refinement. This started to stir up some rumors that Elon may end up just acquiring a lithium mining company and specifically a Nevada lithium company because they're talking about that state in these tweets. If done, this would be very similar to how AMC acquired a 22% stake in silver and mining company Highcroft Mining Ticker HYMC. By the way, keep an eye on Ticker HYMC. It's gaining a lot more momentum today. Just something to have on your watch list. But with this, it would be very possible that Elon would in fact acquire a lithium mining company at some point, but nobody will know when or who it is until that moment happens. This is where it gets very interesting. There were multiple articles posted that Tesla went ahead and acquired a lithium company and make sure you actually watch this video because if you go all out and buy this stock, you're doing yourself wrong. But articles came out stating Tesla acquired ticker L T U M lithium corporation, a lithium mining company based in Nevada. And this article is from Benzinga. And this was sent to Benzinga Pro members, which is a paid subscription. One of my followers told me he bought it because Benzinga Pro confirmed the article. Benzinga was not the only news source that posted this news. There were multiple tons of news sources posting this news, including Market Watch. You also had Nebraska News Channel and check the date when these were posted. Posted April 12th at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Remember, it, today is April 13th. Also, Market Watch posted yesterday. April 12th at 3.07 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Market Screener posted today at 4.27 a.m. Eastern Time. AB Newswire posted April 12th yesterday. And this is what these PRs stated. At the top of these PRs, it says Tesla confirmed that it acquired Nevada-based lithium mining company LTUM, Lithium Corporation. But at the bottom of these PRs, it's saying over the last few weeks, Tesla has been rumored to acquire LTUM, Lithium Corporation, a lithium mining company based out of Nevada. It also states in the PR, the rumor started after a few of the company's employees were hired by Tesla and the auto automaker started listing jobs in Nevada. By the way, that's false. Where it previously didn't have research and development operations. So it's fairly obvious that this PR is fake based on it saying confirmed and rumor in the same press release. LTUM is a mining company based in Nevada and devoted to the exploration of lithium. And in that Elon tweet above that I was just showing you, he wanted to get into lithium and reply to a comment about lithium in Nevada. So it sounds sort of believable that Elon may acquire, I mean, sort of believable that they could acquire a tiny OTC lithium company, even though that is highly Highly unlikely. Elon would probably go after something much, much larger. But most of these articles claiming Tesla bought this tiny lithium OTC stock were posted yesterday. And the stock price had literally no reaction yesterday when all of this news was supposedly posted. And it's almost like nobody saw it or it may have not been real. Let's look at this chart. As you can see early in the day when that supposed news was posted, LTUM, it was literally flat. It had no volume. It was doing nothing at all. Well, the Benzinga article has already been taken down, but most of them are still up, including the Market Watch article. You may now be wondering, why did LTM start pumping a whole day after all these news companies started posting this apparent acquisition? This is because many of the large, the very, very large Twitter accounts which I will not name the Twitter accounts because it's really not their fault. But it also was really easy to look into this and know it was fake just by, you know, five minutes of research into it. But large Twitter accounts with up to 500,000 followers posted this news. Next thing you know, it ran up 200% out of nowhere. It's not even in a half hour. Starting at 1127 a.m. Eastern time, that's when the run started. And boom, it caught some heat. It went all the way up. To a dollar nine, and then the dump came. So I mean, I'm sure there were a lot of people out there that saw that news article and bought back here and saw it run tremendously after you know all these bigger Twitter accounts posted. So if you did that, congratulations. I don't know if you were able to sell all the way up here. If you did, big congratulations. So by the chart, you can clearly tell that something went wrong here. It started with this tweet that debunked the claims directly from the LTUM CEO, not this Ed guy. But the LTUM CEO, Tom Lewis, confirms to Bloomberg report of Tesla deal is fake news. Then this email to an investor from the CEO stated, hi there, totally fake, not a happy day for us. Then LTUM, the company, posted an official PR, Lithium Corporation comments on Tesla rumor, contrary to a press release issued by unknown parties on the 12th of April and rumors circulating on social media. We have not received so much as an expression of interest from Tesla and no employees have left Lithium Corporation to take up employment with Tesla. We would be happy to chat with Elon if he was inclined, but presently there is no relationship between the two companies. It's very, very unfortunate because there were actually people buying at 90 cents. There was 472 trades at 90 cents, 284 trades at 95 cents, 176 trades at a dollar and even 221 trades at a dollar. Five, and some of those were by so many people got burned within minutes and most likely didn't have much time or enough volume to sell out before it went right back down to ground level. Overall, I thought this story was very important to talk about so you can potentially prevent yourself from getting burned by false information in the future. And this goes to show that even some of the most reliable news sources out there will get information wrong and anyone can post any information they want on the internet. So you got to make sure you're always doing your own research any just freely thinking look into it make sure it's correct make sure you believe it's true just freely think and freely decide and have your own opinions to prevent a major major loss like this with LTUM today make sure you drop a quick like on this video make sure you subscribe to the channel right now and comment down below what you think of this entire story it's, it's a really crazy story a huge pump and dump, one of the craziest one that I've seen in a little bit up in that private discord y'all we got so much going on in there that's it for me peace